Oh, what are you gonna eat today? Hmm. What's going on? This is Lewis Angel, your AE Mind Coach. And for today's mind update, I actually wanted to go over an article that I was reading today on Fast Company where they're talking about what happens when we ask ourselves questions or when we ask others questions. See, that's a fascinating question in and of itself. What does happen with questions inside of our brain? When I asked you that question of what you were going to eat, I'm pretty sure your mind immediately tried to go to find an answer to that question. In the article, they talked about how our brains literally go into this instinctive elaboration mental reflex of trying to find that answer really quickly. In the book Brain Rules, neuroscientist John Medina actually talks about that our mind can't multitask like we think it can. It, it, especially when you ask it a question, it single-mindedly focuses on that question. What I really found interesting about this was the fact that questions not only put us into a conscious state of finding those answers, but it also puts us in an unconscious ability to make certain decisions later on down the road. For example, back in 1993, social scientists Vicki Morwitz, Eric Johnson, and David Schmidlein conducted a study with more than 40,000 participants that revealed that simply asking someone if people were going to purchase a car within six months increased their purchase rates by 35%. And listen, I've been to several different personal development-based events from NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, to just your basic motivational and pump up type of events where they tell you that questions are very powerful. The way that you frame a question is very powerful. Meaning if you state questions in a positive way, you will tend to attract that positive type of answer more to you in your life. If you state a question in a negative way, you will tend to attract more of that negative aura or that state towards your life. For example, questions such as, why am I always lazy? Why do I always procrastinate? Or frames that you might not necessarily want to have. You might want to switch them and change them over to more of a positive way of stating that same question. So to flip them and pose them more in a positive light, you might want to say things such as, how can I be more productive? How can I go out and accomplish more of my goals, right? Those are more positive oriented questions that you want to be asking yourself. They have the same intentions behind them but they're just framed in a different way to help you move you closer to wanting to get those answers for those questions that you're asking yourself and we literally have a part inside of our brains called the reticular activating system and what this does is kind of like a seek and find missile where it tries its darndest to try to find a specific answer for the question that you're posing it. And if it can't right there and then, then what it does is when a certain event arises, it makes you more aware of that situation so that you can be more like, okay, now I understand this. Now I have an answer for it. Now I know what it means to X, Y, and Z. I'll give you an example of the reticular activating system at work. Has this ever happened to you where you bought maybe a, a sweater or you bought you know pants or any type of clothing or attire or maybe your shoes or jewelry, anything. You bought, you bought something and after you purchased that item, you started seeing that other people were wearing either the same brand or the exact same thing that you were wearing or that you had purchased. And you're like, why are they copying me all of a sudden? Now here's the thing, were these individuals purchasing that item because of envy, because they wanted to copy you and you're copy your style? No, they did not do that. They probably already owned that piece of attire. Maybe they owned it even prior to you having it and purchasing it for yourself. But it was just a simple fact that you weren't aware that that existed, that it was just blinding you from noticing that thing. But now after you purchase it, it was aware that question was answered in your mind and your reticular activating system or the RAS was more aware of it and you were noticing it more every single day that you encountered it. So it's the same thing with questions. You need to ask yourself powerful and positive questions to help you get powerful and positive answers. So questions are powerful people. Make sure to ask them, make sure to ask them intelligently and get the intelligent, powerful, right answers for your life. All right, that's it for right now. Make sure to watch all the other videos, subscribe, like, share, comment down below. What's a powerful question that you're going to be asking yourself and you want an answer for yourself from this point forward? Ask it down below. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. We out. Keep learning. Keep growing.